tonight we're going we're going to take him and uh, uh, John to the spot and it's on the other side of Dublin. I mean it's about a 45 minute drive but um yeah we figured that since I know you were coming so we're going to set you up but Jared said there's stands all over the place. So we didn't. And can you climb? I mean, yeah. Because okay. like we had ladder stands. If you want to sit up in the air, I mean, yeah, we got up there kind of stuff. interestingly. I'm gonna start getting my legs on a minute. You, if you're comfortable with sitting down and trying to shoot for now. Stay like you are, dude. We're not going anywhere. Should um, we try the chair though, just to see what it's like shooting out of that thing? That that one we got this out last night. Chair? Yeah. yeah. That's fine. We'll you sit can... in that. Um, you got your bipod or the little. I got shooting sticks. <clears> in the yeah. Truck. Okay. Yeah, we'll get those out and not use the table to lean on. If you I don't want, think what you have. can do is you can use oh. the table to lean on, and then we'll. Yeah, because y'all got that post sticks. right there too, though. Yeah, we'll use the shooting sticks once you see which one you want to actually shoot. Yeah, because right. where you're sitting at, it's. I mean, it's like the best spot ever. And there's this little piece of wood that, I mean, it's it like, a, like half, a section fence. of a fence, yeah. And you so you got this wood, and it's just at the bottom of the mirror, so you're able to rest that gun perfect on oh. it. I mean, it, it's a nice little spot. That's nice. Like iron sights or not, if you like iron sights, the 3030 is the way what to go. The I mean, that's probably the most, yeah. most accurate. It's got wrinkles and here. hair. <laughs> That's awesome. Just put that on somebody's shoulder. Watch how my band is in. It takes a whole new meaning to taking your wedding band off. You slid that wedding band off. That's neat. I'm going to look down and see it. Whoa! 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 Wow. That's good. And it, 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 does, it, does it move? It doesn't move at all, that, that one. But it helps you with, with hanging on to stuff? Yeah. I, was like, I have a black one, one too, and I <laughs> meant to switch that out with my black one. Oh, yeah. I'm not supposed to use the alcohol, it dries out the skin. So what is that, water? It's alcohol. Oh. <laughs> I, I found that nothing else really works. You can use lotion, but the lotion stays on there, and, and it's it slick, and then something grabs it, and it just comes right off. So. That's pretty neat, right? That's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. Like, I'll keep it on, and most worry. people won't know. Just <laughs> not, so they get, yeah, you know those little wristbands, those sweatbands that they have? They gave me one of those to put there. I'm like, that looks more awkward than yeah. just leaving it like this. Like, who wears, what kind of guy wears one of those sweatbands? You don't know anybody. If I have the uh, yeah, the monopod or the bipod or whatever we have, I can always rest on top and just kind of get some stability. Okay. Wrap underneath. There's no way. And I, I'm just going <coughs> to just go up and just grab where I can. I have a little bit of pinch. Yeah. So yeah. If I can pinch, I'll probably hold underneath. They don't even warm up when they're on. I hate that. And you take, like, I think the worst part about it is they get really hot in the summer. If you're sitting out or like fishing or whatever, you start feeling this like burning sensation. You're like, oh god, please don't catch on fire. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna sit three miles high on that four wheeler. Yeah. No, you gotta say no. it's a backrest. I know. Yeah, I was gonna say, no. I was waiting. He's sure enough gonna sit on it. Do it like this. Do it like that. Why don't you do it like that? 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 I can just do that. Well, oh, then it's gonna be kind of lean. <laughs> oh, that's good. So, I mean, you kind of trip in front of you to fall off with that scope on that deer. It started in uh, 2010. I was in a uh, four wheeler accident, and um, I had a spinal injury from then uh, with internal bleeding, uh, broken wrist, and broken ribs, uh, and a severe concussion. Um, after that, went on deployment to Afghanistan 
and had a we're moving a missile because I'm Apache electrician weapons had, moving a missile over and IDF went off on the other side of the uh, um, Hesco barriers and the guy that was on the other end got freaked out and threw 250 pounds at me and it hit me in the stomach and pushed my spine back then as past deployment uh, I was on a tug um, standing up high and on had a tug was five feet the platform the table that we're standing on was six feet, so it was only it was just a small gap. But the, the IDF alarm went off, and I went to go dive for the ground to, uh, you know, give myself some extra protection. Uh, and I was a little closer to the uh, platform, or closer to the edge than I thought I was. And I, instead of jumping down and diving, I fell down, and it pushed on my magazines and my IBA, and. Uh, it created even worse spinal injury than I had before. So they sent me home and they sent me to Walter Reed. Um, what I do? Uh, so who's riding where with who? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Taking this one. There we go. Uh, then I got bars right here. I got my back brace on, I think. Go ahead. I ain't got a good word. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> this thing would have probably caught y'all if I could. I mean, I was headed probably halfway throttled. I didn't do anything bad. No, you just took the pictures. Cause the one he was in the bed uh -huh. with him. He was over here doing like this. Stretching them sunglasses out, waiting for him to quit moving. I didn't know how asleep you were. The crazy thing is, is I, I don't remember any of them. I don't. Cause I was so worried. I was so dead to the world. I was stretching the sunglasses. I was like, man, if, I, if these things like, you know, if I poke up like on his forehead, he's gonna wake up and like, his reaction's gonna be this. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be right in my face. <laughs> yeah, I didn't want him to freak out when I was climbing on him. No, he just told him something. No, I was, When I realized how asleep he was is when I picked his arm up and put the baby doll under it <laughs> and put it down and he didn't flinch. I was like, yeah, he's done. That would have been awesome if I had to put you in the in the headlock. No, I, what would have been better? Still be there. Right now. What would have been better? What is that on the major like pain? Roll over, put your arms yeah. on him, and just like held him. Yeah. So you couldn't yeah. Have yeah. Have major pain where he gets in there to take the yeah. picture. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 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 You guys were cracking up. I couldn't sleep because of y'all. His snoring never woke me up. It was y'all that woke everybody hey. up. <laughs> it was not my fault. The funniest part is just help. watching them yeah. coming back and forth, <laughs> just going to them. <laughs> like you just hear them come up the steps. <laughs> I could not stop laughing. Dude. Where were you at when you about fell? At the top of the stairs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, was like, I, was, I, was, I was thinking. We just could hear a th 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 th. Here it goes. <laughs> That's, hey, the that's, top why, that's when we would all bust out. <laughs> that's the only reason why I went to bed is because I thought these two jokers were were done for the night. I, <laughs> I was done. Well, we were done. We talking. <laughs> <laughs> we were done. We were trying to go to sleep, then we couldn't sleep because we were laughing so hard. Y'all was in bed when I went to bed. We didn't know who it was that was snoring, so y'all went we investigated. <laughs> you didn't hear it? No. Not even the laugh. <laughs> No, no, because it done to him. No, because no, at four thirty in the morning. <laughs> no, because at four thirty in the morning, Jared wants him to wake him up at five thirty. Four thirty, looks at him. <laughs> he goes, booger, 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 booger. 
He said you were staring him right in the face. And I was like, what the hell is you doing? Hold on, I'm gonna sit down. That fucking guy is zany. Ah! Hey, which way is it going? Okay, wait. Let me get a whirl. Right there. Oh, oh one more. <laughs> you want me to shoot your gun, Michael? They show you that it ain't the shell? I'll pull it. Just hurry up. One oh, more. it's not the shells when they're not ejecting? Oh. Oh, yeah. No. Well, you only need one <laughs> shot to hit it. <laughs> Mine didn't eject either this time. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, I heard click, click. I was like, I was pulling too. Ready. Somebody's going to say pull? Pull. Oh. Oh yeah, and now it's a shell, ain't it? That's definitely the shell. Here y'all go. Oh, it's y'all. What? Hey, yours doesn't kick it. Yours is a slider kick, ain't it? Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. You want, does it make, you want to pick this up and get it back? You can't. How are you? You ready? I'm ready. Oh, shit. Pull! No, that, that was, was me. me. That was me. Got it. That was me. I'm one for four. <laughs> one for four. <laughs> is that a stove? Yeah. There it is. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. You got it? Yeah. Take them wheels. Alright, y'all ready? Alright. I thought you had a snake, I was like, shoot it! <laughs> yeah, shoot it under his feet! <laughs> he ain't gonna hurt Michael. <laughs> hey, shoot my feet, but nothing else. You can go shin high, and that's it. Oh, it's a turtle floating out here somewhere. Ready? You go hungry with intimidation. Anybody else want to go? Bye, bye. 
six o'clock. And I'm just waiting for that one bug to walk out. It's uh, about 34 degrees, and so we should should be able to see something nice come out today. He's going to demonstrate the wrong way to be in a blind. Those it always gets really cold when that sun starts coming out. Oh yeah. Yeah. Like it can be cold and then get colder. I don't know why or what, but going up and coming down it always gets colder for some reason. But not for the most part. Damn it, Tony, get behind me and stop riding my beard. On my second deployment, I was about a month and a half in uh, to the deployment. I was in the same location that I had left um, 12 months earlier from my first deployment. We were patrolling out of a compound um, along the Hellman River. Uh, one day I was called out to support another squad that was out um, removing some IEDs and they needed uh, the EOD team, Explosive Ordnance uh, Disposal Unit. And after we had brought that unit out to the adjacent squad, we were asked to go uh, a little bit further and try to find some guys that were, were moving around some guns. And on our way down there, we crossed a tree line and that uh, tree line, I was the seventh out of eight people in my squad and stepped on an IED. I was medevaced uh, from there and taken uh, to Bash Camp Bastion Airfield and the medical hospital there, then on to Bagram Air Base in Afghanistan and later on to Bethesda, Germany.
you hit it? I think I saw a run. Gotta sell it down. Nah, that was that was cool. Yeah, the first shot, I, I didn't feel good about, it. and then the second shot, I was I know if I can rush it. Damn it! You just gotta be, you just gotta keep it chill. And let that uh, let that heart settle down. That's pretty much it, though. It happens. Everyone misses. You know the best part? We got tomorrow or tonight. We got another draw on that. So just hit them tonight and then you, <laughs> you don't have to worry about it. Give me a second, I'll come help you. Just remember, just take your time. You know, you get, you know, yeah. You just, you know, there's this big six point. And so I'm sitting on the dog stool getting ready, squeezing the trigger. And the next thing I know, I'm falling over. And we thought, and the, the guy that was videoing me thought I hit it. So we watched the video. I was like, no, nah, definitely not. I saw dirt fly up way too low. <laughs> <laughs> You already cleared it up. Yeah, it's a brighter shot of the night or this morning. Uh, we deployed and I, found it. I got hurt and then two months later he got hurt and it just happened we were in the same boat again and once we were at Walter Reed we'd go on these hunting trips everywhere. Most of them would be just ordinary Americans wanting to help. Right. Veterans, you know, and um, I didn't really, I had a good time and I got 
like an axis from Texas. I mean, pretty deer and stuff like that, but I didn't learn how I could use my legs back when I got home because you know I can't sit in the back of a truck and shoot deer yeah so what we did is me and Michael decided to uh, help each other and so when I climbed a deer stand he tried to climb it when he wore a new leg and uh, he liked it I tried it and it made us better like we both Michael falls still but that's because he's both above the knee but he goes out just as much as I do he walks just as much as I do right. he can climb deer stands I mean okay. so Really? What we want to do is help others do that instead of, and instead of like just lifetime trips, we give them that lifetime because they're out here camping in the cabins and right, right. it's real hunting. It's not high fence stuff, you there know. You go. There you go. I'm gonna let him give you the full report, sir. <laughs> Dates, times, and everything between. I can do it, and when I didn't notice what happened, it just kind of slipped down. Yeah. So yeah. Oh, oh, well, they want to hear the story. Yeah, get these on. The first shot, they kind of started moving off. I uh, took the first shot, and I don't think I settled down enough. And then the second one, I was trying to get up, and the deer hadn't moved. Yeah, she and moved I about five feet after the first shot, and I was like, you got another shot. Yeah, and then I, I, I definitely I was starting to aim and trying to calm myself down. I saw her head kind of move, like I thought she was going to start running. And I pulled the trigger way too fast, so I know I didn't even have it close enough. So I rushed. Well, you and there's good man. shots. There's got you. Oh yeah, definitely. Hey, we broke up some ground down there for you. Yeah. We loosened the soil up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> aerated. Deer. Aerated, yeah. Yeah, aerated the soil. That's perfect, man. Did you guys see anything? You, no. gotta, you gotta wake up, dude. Shoot something. <laughs> I'm up. I told her, I said, if he don't wake up and shoot him. <laughs> I mean, they didn't come out till what, 9 45? Michael, you from around Hawkinsville also? No, sir. I'm actually originally from right outside of Athens. Okay. Do you need our help or not? Where are y'all at? At sitting right in front of Roy's house. In his driveway. In his driveway. I think we'll be fine. All right, then. I have Unless y'all just want to come help. Well, I mean, I'm, if, just say yeah or no. If you don't have want us to dragon. come, then we won't come. <laughs> you don't need our help. We don't mind if you want yeah, to come. Yeah, hey, come back. on. I think I, I may, I may hear the deer right here in front of me. All right. Bye. Alright, go to the land. You know how to get there?
Is that your one? Yes.
Stomping at feet, boy. Straight down. How so far down, is, down there is it? Oh, I didn't turn it off. Luckily, the uh, the guys um, have done this before, so they just have it kind of set up and taught me ways of uh, being able to get um, a good platform seat and uh, a good uh, balance to be able to shoot the rifle. Um, more like a person with uh, that hasn't lost any legs. Good shot. Shoot the second one if you want to. Excellent placement, Jocko, where she laid. Much better. Say, so just take that deep breath, settle you down. Didn't move an inch. Beautiful shot. Thank you. Now it's up to you. Do you want to go get her? Do you want to sit? Yeah, she's right there in the field. Might as well. Do you want to just wait? I'm waiting if you want to wait, brother. It won't, so it won't mess anything else up. I mean, you may not see anything you may. I mean, it's 6 o'clock. <laughs> if you want to sit, we can sit. Go sit. That sounds good. As soon as those fucking turkeys are still there. They're not. There's two of them. Retarded turkey. <laughs> Normally you can't say anything around a turkey without it going on. So were those all hens? Or was there a Jake in there? I didn't even really pay any attention, honestly. I didn't see a Jake if there was. I, but, but like I said, I didn't pay attention. Okay, should we go down there and kill it off? Or? She did. Okay. 
Those are just nerves at the end. Right. When they drop like that, they're dead. That one felt a lot better. <laughs> I'm sure it, <laughs> I'm sure it did. See, you didn't need those other two rounds. Beautiful work. Three, two, one, cheese. We're gonna go up. Swing her up. There you go. And then I got a passenger. <laughs> Might have been a little nervous. That's <laughs> all right. I feel much better about what happened. You were just practicing for tonight, man. Yeah. I was, wanted her to get another last in before. Yeah, I hear you. That's considerate. Very kind of. Sweating yet? I'm not sweating yet. Oh, as soon as we hit the trunk, we're sitting there. Like, it's like, is that Michael? Yep. That's Michael. We're like, fuck it, we're done now. <laughs> Don't worry, dude. The, no, the, the one I already ran off, dude. We're just. Not... You just can't go out of first? Oh, yeah. I'm not going off. That's what I said. Dude, I dumped myself out of the tank chair. How did you get it? Oh, you went popped over here and it slammed down. Coming off the trailer. Uh, oh, you did, like it. It was even, too steep. And yeah, I, and I went the, too fast. I just tried to gun it and run it, you know? That's what, forward? Yeah. And it pivoted on that uh, pit stool, on. didn't it? Yep. Yeah, that's what I was telling you the other day. I about it. Oh, I didn't about. I see that. Huh? Oh, she's old, though. Good shot. I don't know where at, but it's... Ah! <laughs> yeah, that's what that one is. Hmm? Little hung around for a little bit. Kick twice, the turkey stayed right beside him. and he was hitting that target dead on. And he hit the deer, I guess, where he wanted to hit it. I mean, it was a good shot. She didn't move. She dropped straight hey, over. That's all that matters. Did it hit the ground? Oh, yeah. Is it in the trailer? That's oh. it. Hey, that sounds good to me. That's all that matters right there. Okay. Tony, you want me to turn so the gas technically, that one I shot this morning, yeah. the one I shot at this morning, oh, well, it's in the truck. 
Hmm? This took me, you know, an extra three eight shots. hours. Three shots to get it. I didn't hear you shoot. I eight, thought you were Eight dollars? <laughs> Gary, Gary said, did he shoot? I said, I don't know. I said, I didn't hear it either. Mm -hmm. So yeah, who shot see. it for real? Huh? I did. I didn't even take a gun tonight. Maybe the entry hole, but there's no exit hole that I found or entry. We both thought it was. Did you shoot the 308? It yeah. probably disintegrated. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> Wait, if he hit the shoulder, you probably didn't have an exit one. It's a high shoulder shot. And that's why, I, I mean, you, when do you when, see this entry I'm telling hole? you what, it probably happened when it hit that shoulder. Entry and hole. And just went like big. this. And it just hit everything in its well, path. My, my entry hole is real tiny. But well, yeah, it comes out down over here, though. What was you shooting? Looking the 257. I just want to know who's dares the biggest. Hey. Mm -hmm. A, I hope John's the biggest. There's a bet going on right now. Oh, yeah? yeah. No, you gotta stretch it out a little bit. Oh, stretch it out. Oh, oh Lord. <laughs> that must be the one y'all got. Yeah. Did well, y'all have a bed or something? Huh? Something like that. Did y'all have a bed or something? Right I don't know what they had going on. He said that he dropped the deer. Dropped, dropped it right the there. He dropped it right there. He said the deer's just on this right here. <laughs> About that one. They dropped it. Uh, oh, oh. Like we're gonna yeah. get him hung up. One, I told him to aim where you want to aim, then drop it bottom left, and he hit it pretty good, man. Perfect. As soon as she she got hit, I'm gonna just uh, she whipped around. I got an important you dropped it. Didn't move it except for her legs. Kicked All right, so we'll let you keep your shirt till now. That's right. Yes. We need to get. We would have had another one if uh, the little male didn't get to get it from his sister. We would have had what now? We would have had another, we would have had another toad. Man, she's a heavy toad. Alright. Yeah, look how close that is. That's long. Yeah, he's going. Yeah, you got oh, hard. He did say if it was video, he would take a I'm bite out of the first. Uh, yeah. hey, well, if you don't good, good at winning that, then no, no, we ain't. All right, watch out. Don't hurt here. No. <laughs> okay. uh, got gang green. Oh, you can give it a whirl. Try it out. See how you like it. Alright. Uh, <laughs> uh, right? Guilty pleasure. Do you like? What do I? What do you guys want me to do? Tony. You guys want me to get gloves? Come here, buddy. I don't need gloves. I don't really care. So yeah. Hey, you can go ahead. Give him yeah. a pair of gloves. You don't need gloves because you're about to eat it. So yeah, you got to eat the heart. Hey, he did say if it was video, he would take a I'm bite out of the heart. The first, uh, yeah. hey, well, I, I'm going to stop that. Know. And no, we ain't taking it. I'm going to go down the thing. Go back and do the other way. That's sutures right there. The you know, you use the doctor to do that. That's a boat there. Other side. Yeah, I learned something new today. Yeah, they work pretty good. I hope. Oh. Oh. That's what you want, right? Yeah. For this second. Let John do it. He shot it. Or not. Huh? Andrew. Hold on. For just a sec. Just go like this. No, you just want to rub it. You don't want to do it. It's been about seven years since the uh, last time. Um, it was uh, a very uh, big adrenaline rush uh, getting out there, doing it again. Um, exciting, uh, just a big relief to be able to do it again. Uh, and uh, a whole new learning experience, uh, how to do it differently now. After the miss this morning, I was uh, kind of uh, disappointed that I was uh, kind of rushed myself. And then uh, when we got another opportunity tonight, it was a great relief uh, to be able to redeem uh, getting that. And it was just very nice to be able to finally get that uh, shot and be able to bag myself a, a deer.
I'm not trying to cut through the leg, look, see, just see, the skin. Yeah, got right here. here. Go ahead. Here, I got some pressure on it. There you go. All right, let go. Just kind of, just go like this. No, no, no you just want to rub it. You don't want to. Red goo. Red goo. Red goo. Yeah. yeah. Oh, there yeah. you go. Sorry. Hey, good. Hey, good. Made the first right, cut. Well, the Down into it. We'll get right. you that heart in a minute. I got it. Give me a knife. Oh, watch out, everybody. Hey, I seen a Let's video learn. earlier. This guy skinned it in a uh, minute 28. Let's see if you can do it, Jerry. Huh? <laughs> Not with this. <laughs> Not while you're right here, huh? Mm -hmm. Damn. All spotted pressure. That's a pretty big guy, now. Yeah. And there is another way of doing it. Yeah, a winch. If you had a winch, we could, it, we could get it started right here. Right if you go in by a winch, pull the pull off. Pull bridges off. That's what we call it. Pull the bridges right off of it. Yeah, that's what we call it. My little boy would, would pull with pull the lid. Yeah, that's so much easier. Yeah, look at that. Yep. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, that's a good Thanks for me cutting it in the front. <laughs> I have my squad leader here with me. He's an <laughs> avid hunter as well. Um, he enjoys the outdoors. He's uh, started hunting with his dad at nine. And I started hunting with my dad at around eight or nine. And uh, it was an opportunity for him to go. So he invited me to go. He asked me if I wanted to go hunting. I said, like, yes. So, and I was like, he's like, do you have a guest? I was like, I said no. I was like, would you like to go? He's like, absolutely. So we did the paperwork and we came in and we're here now, having a blast. Give us thankful heart for this food and all the blessings of life. We pray for Jesus' sake. Amen. 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 When you go out to the woods with somebody, it's not it's not their job. That's not what they're getting paid to do. It's this is real people uh, doing real things for others. You know, it's wounded warriors helping wounded warriors. It's uh, it's not a you know, they're not doing it for profit. They're doing it to, you know, show others that, you know, hey, they, they're amputees themselves and they can overcome any situation that's been handed to them and they can adapt and overcome and still do what they did before they were hurt. And that would be hunting, fishing, you know, riding four wheelers, doing whatever, driving a vehicle. They can do anything. You know, it's uh, it's very inspiring, and I, and I hope that this uh, program continues to uh, you know grow and become bigger because it, it will really help a lot of people. Really help a lot of people with the same injuries that they have. And granted, I don't have the same injuries, <clears throat> but it will show people that it's not uh, there's it's not the end of the world when you if you lose a limb or lose it. Uh, your legs or anything it's it's uh it can still go on you don't have to you know you don't have to fight through the bitterness of you know anybody looking at you differently they don't act differently so you know it, it's really inspiring it keeps my feet on the ground keeps a small head and it's really awesome that they do what they do we'd like to say thank you to all those that have helped us along the way and to make this hunt here possible and to make it a great time for these guys.